Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Z. Welcome if you're new here. I feel like I need a new intro. I feel like that's getting really old. Welcome to my channel. I love reading. So with that being said, I'm gonna take you guys to the bookstore with me. I have a few books that I really wanna get. I just got ready and put the camera. I wasn't even gonna record this, but I was like, you know what? I love watching book videos and stuff, so I'm just like, why not just turn on the camera and just take you guys along with me? Um, I have a lot of books I need to get through, but I'm going to go through those when I get back from the store, and we can go through them and talk about them. But for now, we're just going to make this never-ending TBR even longer and buy more books. Okay, cowgirls, we're here. Why did... I need to stop. We're here, and unpopular opinion, I prefer Books A Million over Barnes & Noble. I think it's just because of where I live. Everybody calm down. The Barnes & Noble is only connected to our mall, and our mall is, like, very ghetto and, like, not cute at all. So, I don't like going there, but, like, the Barnes & Noble is nice, but, like, the rest of the mall is just ugly, and, like, I just, and it's, like, further away from me. But the Barnes, um, but the Books A Million is really close. It gives cozy vibes, and it's just overall just beautiful around here. So, I prefer going to Books A Million in my area. But we're here, and I was on start. I am looking kind of nervous because i hate coming to the bookstore alone when i have to record because it's just so awkward because like i set up the camera and i record myself and i talk but like that's just so awkward when you're alone because we're like she's literally just talking to the camera and like from the town i live in iowa by the way i live in a small town in iowa no one just has cameras here in iowa like what even is iowa we probably never even heard of iowa i don't know i'm talking too much anyways let's just go inside and hopefully find some really good books
I'm back from the bookstore and I'm super excited because the books I got, I just am obsessed with and I literally cannot wait to read them and get into them. So these are the books that I got. Okay, so we're just gonna get right into it. I got three books here and I don't even know which one to start with because I'm just so excited. First book I got is Daisy Jones and the Six. I got it because I heard it's there's a series coming out for it soon and I wanna read it before it comes out. And like everyone's obsessing over this book. I'm not really sure what it's about, so I'm not even gonna like try and act like I know what I'm talking about. I don't. From the other videos I've seen, it's like a rock band and like it's her and then like the other people in the band and then them rising to fame. I have no idea, but that's all I know and I kind of want to do a reading vlog on where I read this and then watch the show right after and just make it one big vlog with like spoilers and everything because everyone probably had already read this book, watched the show by the time it's going to come out, but that would be super fun. So let me know if you guys want that. Next one I got was a song, of, the Song of Achilles. This book I got because honestly this has been like a popular book for a long time like ever since i started getting into reading this book has been up there on like the books to read i never really wanted to because the greek mythology part of it kind of scares me and i'm just like oh i'm not gonna like this but like everyone's freaking out about this book so like it has to be good you know it has to and people say you don't really need to know a lot about greek mythology to even read this book so i'm really excited to see what this book is about yeah I'm super excited. Once again, I know nothing about this book besides it's a Greek mythology. Like I have, I do not know the storyline at all and I don't even want to know. So I got Song of Achilles and then I got Love and Other Words. This book, it has also been another one of those books. Did this get dark? Yeah, it did. This is another one of those books where I, ever since I started reading, everyone's talking about it and I'm just like, why? Like I need to know why. And I'm surprised I didn't buy this book earlier on because this was like one of the first books that I told myself I was going to read and I never read it. So so um, here I am in February of 2023 reading Love in Other Words. Everyone and their mom has read this book, but it's my turn. I think this one's about a friendship where like childhood friends to lovers where it's like they were friends there were like something in the past and then something happened for them to stop talking and then now they have to see each other again and like i'm guessing they fall back in love i don't know i know nothing about this and i don't even want to read the back i feel like when you don't read the back it's so much better um because you actually get surprised and sometimes like things that i think are spoilers are on the back and i'm like dang if i would have read the back then i would have known this since the beginning and like that ruins the fun low key so yeah i'm super excited to read this one because look at the cover the cover is just so cute like all these little pictures and designs i am in love with it so yeah i'm really excited to read love in other words by christina lauren and yeah that is all the books that i ended up getting these three they're very popular books i want to do like i said a reading vlog um on daisy jones and the six where i read it and also watch the show so let me know if you guys want that also let me know if you guys want me to do reading popular books for a week and i'll definitely put these two in there because i have a bunch I have a lot I need to get through and then I also want to do 24 readathon let me go bring the books that I haven't read yet that I need to read and you guys are gonna be like come on like these books are like so popular like you just need to read them already and I know trust me all right there's a lot of them i'm just quickly just gonna fly through them and show you first we have malibu rising by taylor Drake and reed i haven't read this book because low-key when i read seven husbands of evelyn hugo i didn't know if i liked it the first 150 pages were not good to me and it oh well, they were good but like not intriguing to me so i took like a like a two-month break on that book in the middle and the end got good so i don't know how i feel about taylor Drake and reed so i'm low-key kind of scared to read these two but like i feel like they'll be fine i started reading this one i'm like 30 pages in but it didn't catch my attention so any of these books I'm about to show you guys, let me know if I need to read them immediately because I don't know. I can read them fast, but like I have to get intrigued really fast. So let me know if it's worth the read. Then we have A Court of Thrones and Roses. You already know Akatar was very popular back in like what November, I think. So that's when I picked it up. Still have not read it. Then I got Dolly Ferrantes. I got this last summer. Still have not read it. I also got this book last summer and did not read it. It's Beach Read. Um, then we have Miss Alice Feeney, Brow Paper Scissors. I'm actually kind of like far into this, but not really i'm 124 pages into rock paper scissors and i don't want to say it's boring but like it's not catching my attention the plot twists are so good i remember when i got this book i had a i have a i have a book shopping vlog with my sister when we went to go get this but i was really excited to read this and i was looking forward to it because of the hype no, I'm not even gonna say anything. It's a good book. It's good. So far, it's really good. But I just feel like I need something lighthearted right now. Like, I'm just in a lighthearted mood. So, yes. And here comes Thor. Bruh. He literally just sat down right there. Thor. Can you 
just a little bit lower <laughs> he's so funny then i have crooked kingdom guys i am in love with six of crows i love six of crows i watched the shadow and bone series on netflix i literally adored it i picked up crooked kingdom right after I finished six of crows and i didn't read it i don't know why i finished six of crows in like a day or two i don't know why i just didn't read this one right away i really don't but and then we have good girl bad blood then we have Good Girl Bad Blood. This one, I just, I don't know. I only bought it because it was on sale for like $4. So I was like, I read the first book, so why not? And lastly, I have One of Us is Lying. This one's also a really popular book I need to read. So yeah, those are all the books I need to read. Let me know which ones are worth the read and like that I need to read literally like today, like right now. Like I just need to stop recording everything and just read because I will do it. I will do it. If you guys made this far, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give you a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.